They they know I'm a nerd. I'm the new Game of Thrones villain. What's your Game of Thrones name? Skyler. I was in a club. They see me in a pub anyway. She saw me like a beacon, brighter than a light, and she was tweaking, running through the streets. The streets want me. Hey, what's up? It's your boy King J Wigs here today. And right now we're gonna be reacting to your boy Post Malone. Um, apparently he's involved in uh the Apex Legends game that is out. Um, it's been out for a while, a battle royale game, and apparently I heard he invested a hundred thousand dollars into that game, and I wanna get my hands on that game now just because he's involved with it. So let's see what exactly is going on here. Also, I'm a really big Post Malone fan on his music. I love his music. Um, Circles is so great. And a lot of songs that I used to listen to him, it, like, it helped me through my high school years. And, you know, I just think, I think that I was thankful that he made such beautiful art. Um, let's get right into it, shall we? Okay. Over the last couple of years, I haven't put out music in so long. And I'm always an anxious person, a very anxious person. I don't know, you think about everything at the same time and it's fucking overload. Hold up. Okay. Oh. I Wait. feel like a lot of people look outward for inspiration. Especially Hold up. Y'all saw that? I think they... I know that's is that post post's new spot? Okay, I hope I don't get this wrong. Yes. I think that's post's new spot, guys. Oh, let's hit that again. I feel like a lot oh, of people I'm look stupid. outward I wasn't for even looking. I'm, I'm dead wasn't looking. I'm dead wasn't looking. Post Malone's house, Salt Lake City, Utah. I feel Utah. like a lot of people look outward. And then, for... hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn. Can I... There we go. Wow, he has a house in the mountains. He really has an, a house in the mountains, y'all. Covered in snow and everything, like just all by himself, away from the world. Doesn't want to be a part of anything. That's how I feel right now. Like I just want to be to myself, yo. I don't know what I'm talking about. Nah, that's I can. I see feel what like he's a doing. lot of people look outward for inspiration, especially you know in COVID and everything. And everybody's had a lot of times themselves, and I've kind of realized like you gotta look inwards for inspiration sometimes. Look, it's crazy how we said this is why I told you this is my guy, bro. I listen to his music. I know he he speaks his heart into his music. I know, man. There's some kind of connection between me and this dude, Post. But really, it's not in a connection to like similarity of, of me and him. It's a more of a connection to where we have we have a certain like perspective of maybe how certain things go about the world and life itself. Um, but he said, "Look inward." I'm currently doing a big look on the inward self of who I really am and what I'm trying to do in this world. I have to find it, and I will find it, and. I've been finding it, and me doing this right now is a part of it, so, you know, I'm getting there. And I hope you guys are all fighting yourselves in your own way as well, and doing your own thing, you know? Keep that up. I think this album is coming at a perfect time. I mean, Posty fans has been screaming forever about they're ready for a new album. I think for this record, it's a life of its own, you know? And it has feelings, and it has emotion. It's super raw, and it, and, and it serves its purpose as an expression of who I am. It's short format. Less songs, but songs that speak more to life and speak to how I'm feeling at the moment and the ups and downs and kind of the disarray and kind of like the, 
the bipolar aspect of being an artist in, you know, the mainstream. This is about your body of work being what you want it to be and um, not having songs overlooked. You know, a lot of times you put out 18 songs and a lot of songs you're like, what ha why did those songs not get noticed? But it's because they can't get noticed with 18 songs on an album. So, you know, I think this makes a lot more sense. That's interesting. And, and I'm really excited that he sees um, the value in making it a, a shorter album. You're done with it and then you're like, fuck it, I want to hear it again. You know, let's, let's go again. That's what I want. He's being himself and but putting it uh, out there. That he's speaking facts. And sometimes when I make these videos, like I genuinely rewatch them because I enjoy them. And I know if I don't, if I don't enjoy something that I create, it tends to put a lot of pressure on my mind. But yeah. let other people know that those feelings are probably pretty yeah, natural and that now, there's so reasons not to, enjoy to fall into the, the spaces of them. It's glued together well. You got the bricks and the mortar, and I think it helps tell his story of where he's at now. I'm very happy that I signed with Republic. You know, the fantastic label, fantastic people and people that really give a shit. When you talk about the artist that doesn't, you know, recognize the rule book, probably the hardest description right now is when you say, well, what kind of artist is he? It's Post Malone. Man, I feel just like a rock star. Right when Post got signed, he was looking to record in the studio and work with producers and get with a bunch of different people. And this was something that we were already working towards building to hopefully find someone. So it was pretty amazing from him meeting Louis Bell. Now they just, they're inseparable. He just gives me such, such a loving vibe as far as, oh, hey, I don't even, I'm just meeting you now for the first time, but treating you like he's known you his whole life. And I just felt this instant connection. I want to make music for me and my fans, whatever that sounds like to me or whatever comes out in the studio, it's just, it happens naturally and you can't force anything. I said he was gonna be one of the- I feel like that's why he takes so long to, to bring out like so much music. It's like he's trying to put all his time and work and effort into to creating something like not just big, but like something meaningful, not just something like I'm gonna put this out, I'm gonna put this out, I'm gonna put this out, like you know. And I appreciate that because music is, I feel like, is a lot. It's always easy to make something that sounds good, but like, you know, I feel like it can sometimes be a little bit harder to create something that actually matters. Biggest in hip hop, and I also said that he was going to be one of the biggest artists in our generation. And people thought I was crazy because they was looking at this guy like with an English accent from Brixton, South London, saying that this is going to be the next biggest guy in America. White I was song when I started balling, I was young. And next to him was a guy with gold teeth, with out of life some braids. And, and a basketball t-shirt, and I'm telling you, oh, he also plays a guitar too. And like, you guys are not ready for what's about to happen. And I met Dre, uh, right before Pulse was releasing his first song, and uh, I was chasing him down because I, I heard Pulse, and I was like, I gotta find this guy and figure out how to And I gotta get sign him and get that bread from him. Start. The guitar is calling me over. Let's play some fucking guitar. Let's see what we can make up. I had a melody in my head from Yesterday, let's go into the booth and record it. Oh, sober in the studio, I don't know, I can't do it. Sipping some brews and shit, it kind of just makes you, you yeah, know, so live in the moment. I think the guitar now is more of like, I don't know, a vessel of expression. His fashion sense is a little for, bit for, different I use me. it more as a songwriting tool like, to figure out chords, because this is, this is the most, you know, um, accessible thing for me to figure out chords, because I can't play the piano. You've got an 18-year-old kid that kind of dropped out of college, and and that's that wasn't the bad thing. It's just the plan. You worry about what the plan's going to be for them, where he's going to live, what he's going to do, and you, you try to be as supportive as you can, but you're still 15, 2,000 miles away, and um, so there's always that worry. 
but sometimes gambles paid off, right? I think leaving Los Angeles was a big sigh of relief for the parental figures in his life. There's, there's a lot of influences, and it's so close to the middle of a lot of things that are very, very good, but also things that could be very, very bad. Definitely moving to Utah has made things a lot better. For my mental health, it's been very, very good, and it's something that I had to do because LA was just kicking my ass. So it is tough. I like that but outfit. It's worth it. In the I would wear it. You know, I actually wanted to get into like. I, was I wanted to get into that. The uh, is that called a flannel? I don't think it's no. It's not a flannel. But the uh, the whole like dress down. I feel like I want to like dress more into like the business attire. I feel like you know in my in my community we're just so hooked up on Jordans, Nike. Adidas jumpsuits, hundred dollars for a hoodie. I feel like I could get a hundred. I could pay a hundred dollars for like maybe a suit. Or something. feel me like you know look way, way more classy, and that's the like the look I'm going for. You know, I'm not knocking those. I like to get Yeezy and all that, but I just feel like I want to get into. But the thing is, though, you can't just dress like that everywhere. But the thing is, if you just out. <coughs> <laughs> if you just out and about, you know, I just feel like I could just do my thing, you know. Um, yeah. So it is tough, but it's worth it in the end, you know. Living here is definitely like I don't know. It's just reminded me to take a second and, and s smell the roses. You know? Whenever I'm alone, I play games. This is the best. So this is an alpha. This is an alpha booster pack from 1993. This is an alpha starter pack, and it has three of these in there. These could contain the almighty Black Lotus. New skins? What? What? This is awesome. What? They they know I'm a nerd. I'm the new Game of Thrones okay, villain. Okay, so I see a thumbnail potential right there. Let's get back to the video, shall we? Oh yeah, I like I like how I did that pretty quickly. They they know I'm a nerd. I'm the new Game of Thrones villain. What's your Game of Thrones name? Skyler. <laughs> I love Costco. I love Costco so much. And my picture's terrible. Costco pictures are the most unflattering pictures of any human ever. I'll show you my sick ass wingman shots. Wait. God damn, watch this damn. Fuck, stop. Did I get tricked? Cause I I came on this cause I thought I came on this because I thought it said that Post Malone like he's like a gamer or something and he he like he really loves Apex Legends. And then we get on here and it's showing him playing Apex Legends but in the training so that I can't really tell. If he actually plays the game and then he said that what new skin so he's like surprised about it like you know like, I don't know I think I should leave that alone Put that out thanks for hanging out with me and um, I love you <laughs> that was cool, over the last know? couple years I haven't oh, put up music in so long oh no 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 yeah, that's it. I wanna, I wanna end it off with like the billboard. That was cool. The billboard is cool. Yeah, right here. Um. Um. I expect. I was expecting something else, but jeez, come on, Josh. I mean, J Wiggs. Yikes. Um. I was expecting something else, but I got. At least I got to know more about what's going on with him because, like I said, he's one of my favorite artists and. You know, I wasn't sure what he was up to, um, but I do know that being a celebrity is very hard, and you know, there's a lot of like, drawbacks to it. So it's good to see that he chose to move to Utah away from the crowd. He needs that space to focus on himself and to release his organic art. You know, not something that is influenced too influenced by others, and you end up making stuff not really that's truly true to you so you know 
I also like saw something about a guy he said that you know there's too much people trying to be like their favorite celebrities or youtubers or whatever right and I agree with him because um you know he also said that the person like you know you guys are getting all yes men's you know they're saying that oh you know you you need to you don't sound like like uh this person or that person or like or like someone could sound like little Uzi Vert and then they get hyped up for that like, yeah that shit hard bro you sound like Uzi and it's like you know it, it's cool to hear at first I believe but then after a while you start to realize bro you sound like Uzi bro and I'm not knocking at you anyone that's sound like a, their favorite artist but it's like you know you have to try to like if you sound like Uzi you know try to switch up the, the frequency pitching a little bit edit 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 your adjust your voice and stuff and then you know try to create your own unique way in music so you can uh, take it to the next step you know um but yeah that's all I have to say um like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more King J Wigs out and you know I was in a club before. I was in a club they see me in a pub anyway she saw me like a beacon, brighter than a light.